Hey guys, we're now able to create private channels, but we're not locking them down. So what do I mean by that? Right now I am logged in as Bob and over here I have Bob3. So I'm gonna create a new channel. It's gonna be a private channel. And I'm gonna say my private channel. And over here I'm only gonna invite Bob1 and Bob2. So Bob3 did not get invited. And I'm gonna create this channel. I see my private channel here, awesome. And I'm able to join it, I can say, hey guys. And I can send messages. Now it didn't pop up over here because we're not using web sockets for creating channels. But if I were to refresh this as Bob3, I can now see this private channel and see the messages for it. But I was not invited to it. So we need to stop that from happening. So the way we're gonna do this is now in our channels, we're not just grabbing all the channels for our team. We need to grab the ones that are just private, or sorry, just public, or the private ones that you're a part of. So this is in our team.js in our resolvers on our server. And under the team uh, type, how we're fetching the channels is we're finding all the channels where the team ID is equal to the ID that we want. But it, we should keep that part but also um, check if it's public so public is true right but we also need an or condition because public or I'm a part of it because if I just do public is true I'm not going to see my private channel now at least on the sidebar and I just saw all my channels go away and come over here Okay, so now it doesn't fetch any channels, or does it just show general? Okay, so now that we're doing it by public, I'm just going to check our database. So Slack select all from channel. Okay, apparently random and all these I created were private, so okay. Good, so we can't see those anymore. Um, but I should be able to see my private channel if I am this guy, if I am Bob. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna do an or here. And if we come on over here to direct messages, we saw we did SQLize or like this, so we're gonna copy it like so. And what I wanna or this with is your public or your part of this list over here um, and I think this will be the easiest to write if we just do a regular query and here's how I want to do this so I'll show you guys the query I want to run so from users okay so my user ID for Bob for example is one so I want to select let me move this up um, connect slack I want to select all from channels where the we're going to search by team ID of course too but also uh, public is equal to true or and we're going to join this with our PC members uh, members and we'll use aliases so as C and as PC and we'll say uh, PC dot user ID is equal to my user ID so Bob one is equal to one so or that and our channel is equal to channel ID is equal to PC dot channel ID so let's run this query and this should be channels okay so what do we get now we get general a bunch of times which we don't want so a user ID each time so we definitely want to do unique on ID and I mean to do distinct so now we're getting general um, this random channel I made in my private channel which is what we want so we're basically checking whether it's
public, so that's how we got general. And we got these two channels by checking whether we're a member of it, uh, by checking the private, our members table, and making sure both of these conditions are true. So let's copy this query that we wrote. And that's what we want to run right here instead of the channels. So we're going to say models.sqlize.query and we'll just make a raw query for this. And I'm going to drop it down to multiple lines so this is easier to read. And here's our from clause, here's our where clause. So now here we also want to do a uh, team ID is equal to whatever we want, whatever the ID of the parent is. So now we need to pass in variables and I'm gonna like that. So I think we've done queries like this before. Here we go in our replacements. We're gonna do it just like this. Here we're using named replacements where we used colon and then the name. So we're going to do it just like that. So this is going to be team ID. This is going to be user ID. And that's, we only need two of them, I think. And so here we will do our options. And we're going to say replacements. So our team ID is equal to ID. This is the parent ID, which is the team we're currently. And then user ID is equal to user.id. And we're getting the user from our context. So comma user. And the model for this is going to be models.channel. And we want to make this raw. And we'll do a comma here. So I'll give that a save. And let's see if that works better for our query. So come over here, refresh. And we crashed it. So let's see what we're doing wrong. Nothing seems wrong over here. I'm just going to refresh. Maybe the server was still restarting. Nope. All right, so let's see what's going on. It has to be um, something on the server side because that's all we changed. So I'm going to do network tab refresh and now we'll see what we get returned from the server so filter by GraphQL syntax error at or near public locations and I just forgot to do an and so we want to find the, the channels only consider channels where the team ID is equal to the team ID and this team ID is channel team ID and channel.public and I'm gonna wrap this whole thing so where the IDs match up are the only ones we consider and then we filter down those channels by picking the ones that are public or the ones that we are a member of by checking uh, this PC members that we have so let's see that again oops I accidentally clicked on the error message. And cool, now we see our private channels. Now hopefully when I come over here, we we'll refresh. I don't see my private channel, perfect. Now I'm gonna try logging in as Bob2. Oops, Bob2 at Bob.com. And I should see uh, my private channel and sure enough, hey, Bob2 shows up, perfect. So now we are filtering, so only the people we want to be able to see our private channel can see it now. Um, there's one thing I wanna change on the server side too, and that's with our messages over here. So we're letting anyone see our messages that are authenticated, which really shouldn't be the case. You should only be able to see the messages if you are um, a part of the private channel. So, we are going to move this query in here and do a little bit of checking. So the first thing we want to do is check if the channel is public. So we're going to say const 
channel is equal to await um, models dot channel dot find one and this is where we're gonna say raw is true and we're also gonna say where in here we're gonna say ID is equal to channel ID so we're first going to and oh, I have one too many parentheses there we go here let's I need to get make sure these line up we need to put that here I think there we go okay so all the parentheses line up now so we're first grabbing a channel and I'm gonna say if channel is public we don't have to do anything so we only need to check if it's not public and here we're gonna say if it's not public we then need to check our PC members to see if you are a member so comma user and we're gonna say const uh, membership we're gonna try to find one or member will say await models dot PC member dot find one raw is true and then where and then here we're just going to say channel ID is equal to our channel ID and then we can also check um, the user ID which is going to be user ID and then we're going to say if not user or not member meaning we couldn't find a member we're just going to throw new member or sorry throw new error and we'll just say not authorized so I'm fine just throwing an error like this this is cryptic but we don't expect any users to try to access um, a channel the messages for the channel that are private right because they can't even see it like Bob 3 can't even see my private channel anymore so he would have to do something fishy trying to access the messages um, for a private channel so I'm fine just throwing new error not authorized to him if he tries to access this when he's not a member so now good so now we have guarded our messages to make sure that uh, you can't grab messages of private channels unless you are a member of it now let's make sure we didn't actually break this if I refresh I should be able to see uh, my private channel still hopefully and it looks like we broke it um, let's see what's going on with that so GraphQL cannot return null and that's because we just forgot to put our return statement here all right and we just did not refresh or let the server refresh and cool so I can still see it let's make sure Bob 2 over here can still see it perfect but now if Bob 3 for example made a post request to our server trying to access these messages he would not be able to because we tell him he is not a member so cool I think this is um, good for our private channels what we're going to be doing next is trying to refactor how we do direct messages because we can pretty much treat um, me messaging Bob as a private channel where we're the only two members a part of it and then this also leads it to very easily doing uh, group um, direct messaging because group direct messaging is literally just a private channel again so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and as always I'll push this code up to github